Well, hello, hello, and welcome to the 47%. Help them make the top half possible. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, hope you all will enjoy me for a fun end of the week, a little relaxing tanking. Well, hopefully relaxing anyway, because uh, it's been it's been a week, folks. It's been it's been a week, and uh, yeah. I'll talk about that here and there as we go throughout the day. Uh, doesn't look like any of my usual cohort is on, so I will take advantage of the time by starting with a little artillery. If you look at the stream title, you'll notice that I'm kind of going with a little bit of a British theme. Um, that is in no small part to the uh, hot toddy I happen to have right here. Just, you know, a full... <laughs> so let's uh let's let's sip on some tea and oh, before we rain down death and destruction let's get some personal reserves going because uh yeah i could use some of those i could use some of those and i really need to start earning some more i guess that means i you know gotta start playing more um i didn't intend to do a couple of times this week but uh yeah, we might get into that a little bit later. You know, I just now noticed that bottle sitting right there. What kind of fine scotch is that? It's probably oxygen or fire retardant or something, but uh, I, I'd like to think that it's artillery keeping a bottle of scotch on hand just in case. All right. Let's start this joker off. Loading, please wait. <laughs> All right, not a bad artillery map. I think I can deal with this one. Sorry, a little bit of sinus drainage. It's made life uh, extra fun. Alrighty, there is one artillery apiece. So I'm not fighting with anybody for prime positioning, and if I manage this right, I should be able to support two of the corners. That is the idea anyway. Right. Forgot. I'm going to try to move the camera over chat in-game and tuck it into a corner when we're in the garage. Um, that may not stick around long. I want to cover the chat because, well, if you've played the game, you, you see how it can get. And I just, I don't want that on my stream. It's just not one of those things that I want to have. It's not one of those things I want to deal with. And so... I choose to cover it. I have thought more than a couple of times about turning it off. Just because that, that would solve some of that problem too. Hey! How are you doing the gaming tech? Thank you for the raid. I just started off this stream. Hello, hello, one and all. And bam. Ah. <laughs> but already needs to be nerfed. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, hello. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am Anon Jr. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you for the raid, the gaming deck. That is awesome. I just logged on, finished pouring a nice hot cup of tea with a little extra something in it, and uh, time to play some British tanks. Time to miss with some British tanks. <laughs> oh man, all right, all right. Let's see if I can light this guy up a little bit better this time. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, no, okay. Not the E50. Like the E50 got him, but 
smart buck system goes on. Yeah. I do not want to be in the same place I was spotted. <laughs> yeah, Irish tea with a little Irish whiskey. <laughs> Helps make World of Tanks a little more fun now, doesn't it? Ooh, there is the other artillery. Alright, let's see if we can get him to show himself. <laughs> Which is going to be the second I turn around and drink something. <laughs> yeah, uh, they did an update to the game client. And some people have been reporting some errors. I was looking in the uh, uh, I was looking in the forums for uh, just to see what kind of news was happening and what's going on. And uh, yeah, that that, would, that apparently came up. Really like to do the artillery in, but. This guy's making himself nice and known. Oop. Ah. Fired a little too late. Um, you may have to reload the game. I'm not entirely sure. But I, I hope you're able to get on so that way we can uh, platoon up. I'm not going to keep trying to waste shots over there. I don't have a good shot over there. I have not seen tracer fire from artillery. So I wonder if he's still there. Alright. Of course I keep turning away, so that's not exactly helping either. I could try my luck again. Ah. Yeah, that, that was going to be a chancy shot anyway. <laughs> oh my, oh my. on him. Is this object going to step out a little bit more? No. Hmm. Alright. These guys look like they could use a little help up in the north anyway, so I'm gonna redirect my attention that way. Nothing I can do about the pattern. The oozes on the other. He stopped. <laughs> uh, of course he stopped. All right, that works. Something with it. That object gonna make himself an easy target. All right. Two, one. Oh, oh, oh! I was expecting him to back up more. Dang it! Ah, uh, poor anticipation on my part. <laughs> Such is life. This does not look like, like like a good situation up here. Four, three, two. Where are you gonna pause? Where are you gonna pause? Ooh. Um. Huh. It does appear to be time to bug out. 
That T-54E1 is certainly going to be coming up around that corner. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, oof. Yep. Don't know how far I'm going to be able to run. British tanks are not exactly noted for their speed. They are a great many things, but quick is not one of them. Unless you're in a Cromwell. Okay. Oh, let me at least dip below the ridge. If I can do that, I can at least turn around and fire some shots. No, I don't want I don't even want to do that. Although that E50M is gonna come around. Yeah. Let me see if I can help the E50M with some of that. I just don't want to be an easy part of the firing line. And of course they are. No, no, that's us. That's us. Uh, oh, somebody knocked down a tree. Uh, where did you go? All right. Poke around, E-50. Come on. They're going to make their way down this way, aren't they? I might end up regretting. Oh. Just the wrong... Okay, all right. So, if I were him, where would I hide? Oh, no. Oh. I would run out. Ah. One last parting shot. Here's... Okay. Not a bad warm-up. Certainly better than uh, the warm-up to today. Highway traffic got really weird. We all slowed down for an exit, except for the guy behind me. So I got a nice little love tap on the rear bumper, just to start the day off. Fortunately, it was nothing more than a little bit of chip paint and hard feelings, but uh, all, all said and told, it could have been worse. Um, all right, Hordes of Locusts is trying to join us for a platoon. Looks like he's having some trouble with the game client, so hopefully he'll be able to get that at some point today. That's that's an okay win. I'll take it. I made a profit. That works. I actually contributed meaningfully to the team. Um, I usually like to prefer the XP count anyway, because that takes into... That takes in the stunning and assistance and other types of damage as well, and uh, I much prefer that. Alright, uh, well, since I'm not platooned yet, do I want to play another artillery? Nah, I want to hurry up and get my times two on the tanks I'm trying to grind on the British tree. So I will go play my other tier eight, the Centurion Mark I. I have been very happy with the British medium tanks. This guy is as fully upgraded as I can make him. I, I have been tempted to drop down to the 17 pounder. Um, it's the pen though. A lot of the tanks you end up with, you really need the extra pen. So while it's got a better damage per minute um, and a blistering rate of fire, that, that 171 pen just really it kills me. It, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking around. I don't think you guys were there for the introduction. 
I jokingly call this stream, my Friday World of Tanks stream, the 47%. Because as you can clearly see, I helped make the top half possible. So this is going to be a little more, uh, a little more fun than uh, stunning or technical. See what I could do up on the north, but I don't see enough people headed south. Ooh. I do not like the way this team is shaking up. Alright. Yeah. I was never gonna make that shot. It was worth a shot though. Or worth a chance. Yes, we are on the North American server. And uh, found a bunch of public domain uh, or free to stream blues and jazz and kind of stuff like that. That's what I like to keep in the background. Eventually I may upgrade to one of the services that you see a lot of streamers using, like Pretzel Rocks or something like that. It's... Uh, one of those things I'll probably do once this picks up steam, so to speak. <laughs> I would love to play some Van Halen, but I do not want to get taken down for copyright. <laughs> There's a lot of music I would love to play, but, you know, that whole copyright thing kind of kicks in. Okay, no artillery. That, that is helpful. That makes me feel a little bit better about working this cliff. Yeah, no, no. I should have been paying attention to that object 704. That would have been much more helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a lot more helpful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And... The 430 is trying a different position. Probably smart. Yeah, gotta work on that snapshot. But the object falling back? No, the object's not falling back. I'm just worried about everybody else falling back. Turret armor on this is usually pretty good if you can get it angled right. Uh, that dead tank is helping me as much as it is them. Or them as much as it is me, depending on how you look at it. Mm. Yeah, no, this is not working out well for me. I need to fall. No, I should have fallen back sooner. <laughs> there you go, object 430. There's a nice, sturdy thing to hide behind. My wreck. All right, let's go back to the garage. For those of you new to the channel, I do three streams a week right now. I stream Minecraft on Tuesdays as a part of the CoffeeCraft server. I stream uh, Games Revisited on Thursdays. Season one is going to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, we've been having a lot of fun with that. We're only two episodes in, so now is a good time to catch up. And then, of course, on Fridays, I do my World of Tanks thing. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, when the when the opportunity arises, I do try to get at least one other stream in during the week. But that doesn't that doesn't happen all that often at the moment. I uh, still got a few other things that I'm trying to work on and getting the channel together and get the stream together. Uh, you may have noticed my channel page is looking a little barren. It's got a schedule and that's about it. That's one of the things I plan on trying to fix this weekend. Um, after I drop my car in the shop to get it looked at. Because, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I would like somebody to take a look at it after that little fender bump this morning. <laughs> and that is why I cover the chat window. Yep, that right there. Yeah, not quite car issues so much as I slowed down for traffic and the guy behind me didn't. Fortunately, it was all under 20 miles an hour, so uh, it uh, it didn't end up being that bad. Right. I don't see enough people headed down the track, so I will go ahead this way. Because that, that seems a smarter way to go. Or at least... And need more support. Now are we gonna try to run, run rough shot or are we gonna hold back a little bit, guys? I don't like the medium train hanging that far back. But I don't want to push too far ahead of him either. Right, looks like Mr. Hellcat's gonna camp up in that bush. I'll see if I can't swing wide a little bit, keep better eyes on this side here. I don't know if that Type 64 is... Oh, 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 okay, no, no. We got a few. Mind the artillery. I don't know if I've been spotted here or not. I can't remember if this guy's got six cents. I forget which... Go <laughs> hey, well, that answers that question. He's got six cents, and I should be somewhere else. Especially if there's a board artillery watching this direction. <laughs> Uh-oh. Our crusader's in trouble. Oh. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. That worked out nicely. All right. That went better than it usually does. I'm wondering, though, is that all that came down this way? That can't be all that came down this way. There's got to be somebody else hanging over here somewhere. All right, I've got the M4 and the Hellcat behind me, which will help. I'm a little worried about that Sherman 3 in the middle. Not too much I can do about him. Not on the distance. Alright. Oh! Oh, hello! Let me, uh, not stop him. Oh! Oh, no! That was... <laughs> I feel like I should play the Monty Python clip, but, uh, you know, no one expects... <laughs> No one expects the SU-100Y. Oof. Oof. That's, that's my own fault. Pushing ahead blind. Tunnel vision. I was looking to hunt down a pair of artillery. And, uh... Yeah. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> okay. That looks, this looks like it's going to go on for some time. So... <laughs> yeah, that SU-100Y. I, uh, I have one. I don't play it that often. It's a little too boxy for me. I mean, the cannon on it is beautiful, but it seems very situationally useful. Uh, unless you like rack up the camo like that gentleman did, because <laughs> I, I don't. I'll have to check the replay later. Because I don't think he showed up on my mini-map until he actually took a pot shot at me. Oof. That's a, that's a sad match for the Centurion. Yep, it looks like they uh, broke my wallet module. Uh, critical hit. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, losing money was not the objective for today. Uh, you know what? So I guess that means I'll take one of the premiums and try to earn a little bit of that back because that, uh, mm, that was not fun. <laughs> yeah, 
Depends on the kind of day I'm having. Sometimes I really like being that guy hiding in the bush on the back 90 and, uh, you know, playing the duck shoot. Sometimes I much prefer just driving around fast and having fun. Um, yeah, the British TDs do not allow you to do both, though. <laughs> Although this guy... This guy's got the armor that if you really wanted to get in there, if you had to kind of, you know, tank it in there, you could manage it. Uh, and the rate of fire is phenomenal. Now, this is one of those maps that I have not played but maybe three times since it got introduced. Uh, I, I always find the map rotation mechanics to be a little interesting, fun, funky. Not sure. Uh, so... Let's go. Let me see where everybody else goes. <laughs> yeah, mini tortoise. That is, uh... The tortoise is one of those tanks that is on my list to eventually acquire. I think I'll try to support these two heavies over here on the eastern flank. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to do it. Team Britain getting passed by everybody. Last week I was playing with uh, my good friend Fart Rock and we finished up the stream with my Tog 2. <laughs> you want to talk about slow. Although the Tog is fun, or it can be fun, it is, uh, it is definitely... A land whale inching its way along. Ooh, I spotted a crusader? Okay. Alright, how do I want to do this? We can use that cement pile if they go that way. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. That snapshot. Mm -mm. Oh. oh yeah. I'm sure Artie's lining up. Cause I look like an Artie snack. That is almost certainly covering my flank. There should be able to jump up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw me, I know. I'm trying to help out our Oni. Who managed to solve his problems before I got there. Okay. That can work, too. Uh, I would not have my turret open on that. Ooh. Ooh, nope. Nope, nope. Hug the building. Hug the building. You love the building. He is my new best friend. And I am not peeking around that corner. Is that oh me? How did he manage to shoot me without getting spotted? That's what I don't get. <laughs> Embrace the hard cover, not just cover, hard cover. Crusader be stupid and give me a decent shot. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> oop, oop, oop. And brace yourself for artillery. Back that tank up. Oh, oh, T67 is going to go be a taste of your target for me. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Too late. A little too late. Oh, don't bother. Right. Tuck and roll. <laughs> All right. That 
Oni is sitting there. I don't have... Our Oni is going through that valley now. Oh, how did I miss him? Because I suck. Okay. But I have good teammates. I'll take good teammates. Oh. Watch it, AMX. That Oni. He's probably looking at you like a mm, tasty scout. Alright. Come on, movable cover. Alright, that. Uh, you gonna peek behind me? Oh, oh. oh, cool. Fart Rock is on. Maybe we can get the three of us together. Expecting the M44, but I don't have to worry about him for a little bit. Oh, oh no, that's not good. He didn't penetrate their armor. He thought that was funny. Oh, <laughs> I hope you think that's funny too. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hi, Artie. You know, I much prefer being on the other side of this kind of artillery abuse. Uh, I don't know. He's got the ELC across the corner. Oh, shoot. We in trouble. I wasn't even paying attention to the camp. I wasn't paying attention to our artillery. In trouble back in the back. right in front of me, aren't you? I could be helping. Do you know that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Surprise that went so wide. It should be stable as slow as it's going. <laughs> Have you just bounce off the back of my tank? Yeah, no. No, 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 no. There was no way that was going to end well. Alright. All over but for the crying, right? Let's see. Are they going to cap first or the BDR first? They're going to get the BDR first. Ah, well. <laughs> Let's see if we can get uh, Fart Rock on, and it looks like Hordes of Locust will be on as soon as uh, some updates happen. I wonder if I'm going to need to help Fart Rock with uh, Discord. Alright, so... All right. Let's take a look at some results, and then we'll uh, get Fart Rock in the platoon. And we won with the Cromwell, which is good. By XP, uh, near the top of the bottom third, so that's not bad. I mean, I'm not this guy, but that's not that's not good either. That's not, yeah. But that's not a loss. That helps too. All right, I didn't lose money, barely. Near the top of the middle third in XP, so... Okay. Okay. Alright, and yep, Fart Rock is on. Uh, following the stream should not prevent you from joining Discord. Do we need to do some live tech support again? Or do I need to end up rebooting Discord again? Because that was the problem the last time. But let me add Fart Rock here. And while we wait for him, I'm going to close and restart Discord. Because it has been acting a little weird lately. 
just kind of one of those things that I just, I don't get it. All right. Let me get Discord back up on my side again. I don't get it. Usually, usually Discord works pretty smoothly out the gate. But the last couple of weeks, the Friday streams have just been a weird... A weird bit of connection something or other. Alright, I... I am in World of Tanks voice. Uh, how about now? Oh, it says I am still connecting. Connecting. Although Friday is probably one of those days that um, Discord itself ends up struggling. All right, let me disconnect and reconnect. I see both Fart Rock and Hordes of Locust in the Discord, so hopefully that will uh, resolve itself. I'm trying to find a place to Tuck Discord. I've only got three monitors going. Uh, yeah, seem to be having the same issues. Try restarting. This. The quit. All right, yeah. All right. Because on my end, it's saying... Yeah, on my end, it keeps... <laughs> uh... Looks like Fart Rock's going to leave and start back up again. Yeah. Sorry guys, live troubleshooting again in the middle of the stream because Discord is being special. A special kind of special. Interesting. Um, I will let Discord try to reconnect in the background because I do want to keep the on-screen stuff going. So, let me... What do I want to do? Let me lose some money in the Centurion again. See if I can play that one a little bit better this go-around. <laughs> Oh my. Alright. This is a good map to do better in. I do like that it's all tier 8. Uh, with the recent updates that Wargaming's been making, I do I do like the better matchmaking. Uh, I feel like it's been a little bit more even. A little bit uh, better tier spread. I don't spend all my tier 8 battles in tier 10 battle. Or my tier 8 tanks in tier 10 battles. Which is nice. Um, now I just got to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to try down the valley? Do I want to head down the river road? We do have a scout. I could try to support him. You know, unless somebody else goes down there, I may just uh, support the scout on the lake road. Yeah, everybody's swarming to the city. We got three over there, which should still be good. And if I need to, I can beat feet and get back around that corner in time to help them out. So I'm going to hang back a little bit and let our even 90 do his thing. Is 
there anybody out there? <laughs> All right. This is where I always get myself in trouble because I start thinking maybe I should push forward just a little bit more since they don't seem to be. That's usually when I get caught out. So they got a 12T hanging around that corner. I'm pretty sure even 90 doesn't want to do what he's trying to do. Really should be letting our guys across the lake take some pot shots at him. No, never mind. That looks like exactly what he's doing. Not critical enough. He drove away. I don't call it a critical hit unless they're gone. Right. Looks like our even 90 is pushing up a little bit more. I'm going to try to help him out. Matter of fact, I'm going to push even further. Oh, the STRV, that's what... Oh, oh, oh my, oh my. Oh, find the rock. Hello, rock. You are my new best friend. <laughs> oh, if only... If only there were a bigger rock. Because this, this is not... Uh-uh. This is not where I wanted to be. I was not expecting that camp fest over at D4, D5. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Alright. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Rock is better than nothing, I will give you that. But I would really like just maybe a bigger rock? A mountain, maybe? Alright. Not gonna get anything if we don't light up those last remaining few. Because we got some people who have some good shots on them. Yeah. Make that TS5 back up. Uh, don't mind me, I'll just try to keep them spotted. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I'll take that. Come on. Alright. Now here's the question. Where did that T28 prototype go? And am I fast enough to make it without getting too much shot from those guys over there? Dodging we, dodging, bobbing we. Nope. There's where he went. Yeah, I was worried about that dude does too. Need a nice dip somewhere. Oh, yeah, no, I pushed too far. Too far. Got too greedy. Got too greedy. <laughs> I should have played it a little more cautiously up on that little ridge right there and tried to draw out the T28. <laughs> Thank you, Lemming Sacrifice. Good night. Have fun. I usually upload the uh, restream or the stream replays to my YouTube channel, which I am still in the process of building. If I can, if I can manage to get a hundred subscribers, I will at least be able to get a custom URL, making it easier to uh, <laughs> to say find my YouTube channel. Uh, that is that is one of my short term goals in that regard. I'm going to try to get my Twitch and Mixer profiles updated. So that way, uh, there's links to the other things that I do and a little bit better explanation than uh, using Restream. And these are the games I play. <laughs> All right. So that's still in battle. Let me take a peek at Discord real quick to see if it's being... No, it's still... <sighs> Discord is trying to connect, and that's it. That's all I'm getting. Connecting, connecting. 
I do not seem to be able to reach Discord itself. Uh, you can try logging out of Discord and relogging, but um, that doesn't seem to be... I'm wondering if the problem's on Discord's end. Because I'm getting nothing but connection errors. And, um, yeah. I, I think uh, my project list just got rearranged. Starting with looking at Discord, because we're going to need that Tuesday for, um, for Coffee Craft. Alright, uh, what do I want to do? I would like... To take the Cromwell out. Yeah, I, I've had those days where for whatever reason stuff doesn't load. Like, <laughs> like it was, a, I can't remember if it was last week or the week before. Some genius, this guy, uh, forgot to check for updates for World of Tanks before uh, starting off. And so I ended up streaming about 45 minutes late. Because it took that long to run the updates. Oh well. Some days. I finally started seeing this map a little bit more frequently. And I am liking it. Yeah, I never quite got into World of Warplanes. Uh, flight games in general just have not been have not been my bag. I know Arcadius and Fart Rock have been trying to get me to join World of Warships, and uh, Arcadius has been uh, really pushing that one. And Fart Rock also seems to enjoy it as well. I've been debating on maybe doing that. I should probably see if I can license the uh, the village people. Yeah, you know, why are in the navy? Make that the lead in or something? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I could find a uh, good warship related playlist. Now, I'm gonna take the long way around just because. Oh. Okay. Um. No. Not in the navy. Yep, yep, yep. I kind of figured one of them was going to spot me. Need to be get to some better cover. Oh! Oh, hello! Guys, this flank is not looking all that wholesome. And we are looking like arty snacks. Just saying. Yeah, somebody's dropping shots this way. gonna do good help our two scouts on the flank it, yes I died a lot that is why this is the 47 percent in that <laughs> I help make the rest of y'all look good oh forgot I was platooned up with Fart Rock. I can't believe I did that. I should have been watching him. I'm sorry, Fart Rock. I'll, I'll blame it on the Irish whiskey and the tea. Alright. Uh, let's change gear. Ooh. That was a victory? That was not just a victory, but that got me a master... How did that get me a mastery badge third class? Was it the spotting? I think it was the spotting. Yeah, it had to be the spotting. That's almost 1,500 spotting. Alright. 
That's not bad. Any day you make a profit's a good day. Five shots fired, four hits, only two did something, but still. Alright. That can work. I can take that. Alright, I guess I am waiting for Fart Rock to get back into the battle because I foolishly left forgetting I was platooned up. They say memory's the first thing to go. I just don't remember who they is. <laughs> no, not that much Irish whiskey. Just enough to make it interesting. <laughs> oh. Just enough to be bold. <laughs> Alright. I think... I think I'll change gears and instead of sticking with my British theme, I will grab some light tanks. Go blazing around. And go spot some fools. As soon as Fart Rock gets back... And, yeah. <laughs> Alright, while we're waiting on Fart Rock, let's head over to the tech tree real quick. So I keep looking at the British tech tree, and so far all I've really done are the mediums and the artillery and one of the two TD lines. I do, I would like to get to the AT-15. And eventually the tortoise, because I do like that line. Uh, from the Electo on through, with the exception of the AT-8, I've thoroughly enjoyed this TD line. However, I really love turreted TDs. A lot. I, I like the flexibility that they offer. And uh, I'm debating on buying that cruiser. And just start working my way down here. And uh, start grinding up a different British line. But uh, of all the things I've got to work on. Because I have not done anything with the Italian tree. I used a little free XP to bump up on that. Uh, something about the gun characteristics with the with the British artillery. I really love the firing arc on the artil artillery. It lets you reach a lot of places that other artillery cannot. It's got that nice high trajectory and drops down and, and it yeah you you get to have all sorts of fun with people who think they have cover and they don't. <laughs> And the splash damage is good enough that you can usually get a fair amount of stunning in and the XP that comes from stunning enemies. Uh, the British TDs I love because they are rolling bunkers. Thickly armored. Um, I've had a lot of fun with the AT-2 back in its heyday before it got, you know, whooped a little bit with the Nerf Bat. Um, but that was a really fun tank. Fun trivia, it is one of two tanks that I have received the Invader medal in. <laughs> yes, folks, I got my AT-2 to the enemy cap and capped solo. <laughs> it was glorious. Uh, the, the only other one that I've done that in is the German Heavy, the Luva. Where is that guy? That guy right there. That is the only other tank that I've received an invader in. <laughs> Nothing like a big, slow tank to go take a cap in, right? <laughs> and the Germans are another tree that I've been... Uh, some of them move too slow. Some of them move too slow. Um... I keep debating on going back to the German TD line. I kind of stalled out on this end right here. Yeah, the toaster was okay, but it was just one of the... It, it wasn't fun to play. 
I have heard that it gets better from there, especially when you get to the St. Emil and the Ramadan, uh, the Waffentrager here. But um, I'm not sure that I'm willing to do the grind between these two guys to get there. And Bartrock is still in battle. Wow, that's lasting longer than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I do like the Americans. Uh, it's the one. It's one of the trees that I've done the most research in, as you can see. Uh, they tend to be very flexible. They're not as high as damage. They're not as high as armor, but it's a pretty fair all-round balance. Um, that T30 is way too fun to play. I just don't tend to make a lot of money in it. The Pershing and the Patton, on the other hand, that's another matter. I've got the M5355 researched, and uh, at some point I will buy it. My favorite nation, if I had to choose, I play, I play the American tanks far more than I play any other one. Uh, there are more tanks in more branches, more classes that I thoroughly enjoy playing. Uh, the T-28 prototype was fun. The Pershing was fun. The Bulldog and the T-71 were awesome. You see, I've still kept them. Um, the T-49, now that I got that big honking gun launcher, that's been, that's made it very interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that though, just because of the slow rate of fire. And uh, with the speed the T-49 has, I really would like to uh, continue doing a lot of the circling and uh, make a little more havoc on the playing field that way. But uh, all around, I the Americans have been my favorite nation tree to go up. Hey, there we go. Art Rock has finished. Let's see. We won. I got a third class on that one, too. Huh. Was not expecting that. Uh-oh. Maybe it's a good thing we weren't watching uh, Fart Rock. <laughs> Metal's that. Destroy two enemy tanks or tank destroyers with a medium tank in one battle. All right. Go Fart Rock. All right. <laughs> three shots, three hits, three pen. About 300, almost 400 damage. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to the garage. He is blue because somebody jumped in front of his shot. That is the interpretation that I, that I will prefer to take. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this 12T out. Try to get our times two on this joker. It is one of the few autoloaders that I've actually held on to, partly because I need to get through the 12T to get further up the um, French light tree. But um, I'm trying to learn to get better with autoloaders. It is definitely a weak spot for me. Uh, I see their value. I see how they can help out. I just haven't quite wrapped my head around the best way to make use of them. And... Uh, so my objective is to work on that using the 12T. And I may pick up that American medium uh, that branches off of the light tree line around tier 7 or 8. The, the name escapes me at the moment. I think we might have mentioned something about a short-term memory something or other. Can't remember if it came up already. <laughs> Ooh. So here's the question. Do I want to try to sprint up to that hill with the rest of these fools, probably getting myself killed or at least maimed in the process? Or do I want to try a little more conservative scouting? Ah, let's run. <laughs> Let's do this. 
I do like that the uh, French lights are pretty quick once they get going. Alright, four shells loaded. And away we go. Oop, oop. Don't look, don't look. Just run. Get the cover, get the cover. And let's not be where Artie is going to be expecting us. <laughs> like that. Alright. And we do a sneaky shot around that corner. Alright, let's go ahead and do a full reload, because that seems smart. Signal, oh no, I got about 17 seconds left. 8, 7, 6. That VK is looking for me, isn't he? Oh, he is now. He wasn't before. Oh, what a goof. Getting critical hit. Yeah. Critical what? He's still looking like he's gonna come after me. <laughs> it's not critical if he's still moving. Alright. This is looking promising. I should not keep popping up around that exact same corner over and over and over again. So let's see if I can give Artie some targets over this way. And how can I go? Oh, so tempting. So tempting. Ah, let's do it. Somewhere else. Six, five, four. Ooh. Ooh. That's not a good sign. Alright, let's see if we can light up some more guys here. Go, go, gadget binoculars. Come on. Finish him! Finish him! Ah, somebody else got the kill. Alright, I don't care. As long as we win. Oh. Hi, Elievich. That used to be such a favorite tank to play. And then they did that whole HE nerf thing. Penetration. Oh. How dare he get behind cover? <laughs> Got the Hellcat, though. Oh, ooh. Hello, Mr. T67. I'm a little worried about you getting shots on the side there. Oh! Oh my! Oh no! I did not spot that. How did nobody see that medium going back? Hang on, Artie. I'll get there. Eventually. Hopefully you'll even live to know about it. Nope. Uh, how about we settle for being avenged, then? Oh, yeah. I miss the days when Artie could uh, easily shotgun a fool. Oh. Alright. Oh, he probably tried to ram him. <laughs> that is one thing about the uh, Russian artillery. Uh, they are built thick. I hear the ch Hey!
Mission LT-10 completed. Awesome. Oh, and that's the one for the HTC. Nice. High caliber. How did... Oh. Well then. I was... I was not expecting that one. I was not expecting that one at all. All right, got some bruisers, some fire for effect. We got demolition. Ooh, I am a wrecked a fool. That's always nice. Huh. All right, let's drink to that. <laughs> Ooh. All right, that makes up for all them losses earlier. <laughs> all right. That works. Completed with honors. 15 personal missions for light tanks. Ooh. That's right, because I was working on one of these. I've been trying to get a lot of the... A lot of these guys with honors now. Um, I've been struggling to get that last medium tank mission. Mostly because when I play medium tanks, there's not enough tank destroyers to do a thousand hit points of damage. And the heavy tank one, I... Yeah, heavy tanks are not my strong suit. I might play them a little bit later just to uh, get a little more work in on them. Alright, let's do the LTG then. Since scouting seems to be going a little bit better today. <laughs> This is a fun little scout. It is not the fastest, but it's such a low profile. It's easy to get in some really nice places to hide and spot and uh, fire with little fear of return fire just because of how low to the ground it is. While I'm waiting for Fart Rock, let me take a quick peek and see if Discord has... No, Discord is still trying to tell me it is connecting. Alright, let me quit Discord again. Let it think about what it did wrong. And then I will start it back up after this battle. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let me go spot some fools so Fart Rock can take them down. Watch, we're going to get stuck on a base defense now. <laughs> yeah, Discord as a whole seems to be uh, giving us a little trouble today. Which is odd, because it is usually very reliable. Although we had some weird issues with it cutting out on Monday when I was doing a private gaming session. Tuesday it was working fine. Thursday was just me by myself, and, uh, and then today's been a little weird. But I also imagine with uh, summer vacation quickly approaching as all the schools get out, it's probably uh, it's probably going to be something extra extra special. Ooh, I haven't seen this map in a while. All right, let me go spot out to the east. Go ahead to the northeast and uh, see what it, what I can do. But I am going to take the long way around. Just because this tank is a little pokey. And I'd rather have the option of cover even if it means not, in, not getting as forward a position as I would like. And then I got a few medium, or a medium and a couple of heavies backing me up. We got the TS-5 taking a position. Alright, that's promising. Oh. All 
Alright, let's try the next dune. This is going to be the one we're going to see somebody in that. Ready, set, and peek. Uh, huh. That's unusual. Normally, there's somebody spotted. All right. Do I want to chill long enough for the binoculars to deploy? Yeah, we'll give that a shot. And Interesting. Man, Admiral Akbar's going off. I really think that is going to end up being a trap. But, uh, let's... Let's take a look. Maybe they're all hiding in this top corner here. I got a Pantera to back me up. Alright, so we got the VK hanging out here. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no. Nope. Peace out. That's a whole bunch of nope. That's a heavy nope. <laughs> that is a hard GTFO. We'll go with the IS deal with that Carnarvon. Because <laughs> I do not have the cannon to handle that. Oh, chat. Don't ever change. seem to be deployed a little funnily. Let's see what we can see down this way. There you guys are. Alright. I wonder if artillery could send over a little care package? You know? Say hello. Speaking of an artillery care package. Oh, he only stunned him. <laughs> Alright, Hordes Locust, we will get you in on the next go round. kind of bad for those guys in the north. Sorry, getting distracted by chat. <laughs> Let's just say I'm reminded yet again of why I cover it up in the stream. Well, I should probably go back to my original policy of turning chat off. What are the odds I can go do something about that tiger? Yeah. I was wondering if that scorpion repositioned. Oh, oh, no. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. That's me getting stupid. Er. Scorpion. Oh. Well, I can definitely knock stuff over. I was hoping I could find somewhere to spot him without worrying about return fire. Or maybe giving artillery the option to do something about that. So naturally I knock over another tree. Alright. <laughs> I see you, Mr. Yag Tiger. I see you hiding back there. I'm just gonna sit here and let somebody else deal with you. Alright, uh, 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 
Oh, never mind. The AT-15A is repositioning towards me. So... Let's do this over this way. Yeah, I had to close Discord. It wasn't connecting, and I'm going to restart it as soon as this battle is done. Oh, my kingdom for a little gun depression. There you go. Gotcha. Get out the way. Ooh, oh, let's not walk in front of the big honking TD. Well, that doesn't look like that T-28 is paying a lick of attention this way. Oop. No, nope, that's what I get for trying to snap that shot off. That works. Keep giving me your flank. That's good. I don't mind. Oop, never mind. He found cover. Oh, not that much cover. Oh, never mind. He's looking at me. <laughs> I should have moved after that last shot. I, I, yeah, no, that was not, not my smartest move. <laughs> not my dumbest move by today's standards, though. But that's not a hard bar to pass. This is looking close. There we go. Oh! I didn't think you had shots on me over there. Aim! Ooh! Oh, on one hit point. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then we go tall. Or go high. Oh! What are you gonna... Oh! <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave the camera there real quick. Let me fire Discord back up one more time. Third time's a charm, right? Thinking long and hard about connecting. Alright. I'll let it sit there in the back. Eventually I'll hear you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I know it shows that I'm on, but on my side it keeps saying connecting. But it's not actually connecting. So, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I wish I knew. Maybe Discord needs to put another gerbil in the rack. I'd feel like I had a little more standing complaint to complain if I was on a paid plan. But since I am not, I am probably a low-priority server. And World of Tanks has started their new Discord server. And... Oof. Yeah. The one millimeter armor. Yeah. At least you went down fighting, right? Uh, I had the opportunity to see an actual scorpion at the uh, Army Gr Army Museum over in Fort Bragg. And uh, Wargaming is being very generous, giving them a millimeter of armor. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so how do we do? All right. Third and XP. Still in the middle third for damage. 
And again, that is not my primary metric. I do prefer to go by XP because it takes into account all the contributions or as much. Did, what's up with the... What's up with the blue today? Ah. All right. Invite players. Hordes of locusts. Bam. Invite out. <laughs> All right. Choose your fate. <laughs> we can be like Ghostbusters. Choose the shape of your destruction. <laughs> All right. You know what? We can... We can both do that. I need to give my LTG crew a little more training anyway. They're so close to that first skill. All right. Let's go light them up for Fart Rock. <laughs> this is a fun tank. I missed it the first go around. I was not into World of Tanks when the uh, T-52 was the going thing little UFO teleporting across the map and all that good fun. Uh, I got on to World of Tanks a little bit later than that. And, uh, but early enough that when Wargaming did their big reward for having been a part of the game for, you know, however long, I qualified for the T-52. And uh, that was, that was good. Got a fair number of scouts too. Question is, do I want to go get that passive scouting position? Or, yeah. All right, you guys surf the ridge, and I will try to do a little bit of passive scouting up here, bugging up tight. Of course, if I keep knocking over all the land features. Somebody's gonna see me. Stop right there. Peek out. Just a little bit more. Oh, he's right there. No, 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 no. I do not want to get spotted here. I I am double bushed. I just don't know where your friends are. That's my question. Like, I would love to peg you right now. But I don't know who else is gonna, there to see me. Although, if you had more backup, it probably wouldn't have gone down like that either. Oh, come on. Passive scout, passive scout. The temptation is there, though. The temptation is there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I really want to push a little bit further forward and see what's hiding down that way. Alright. But that's what I was worried about, that there was going to be that many people chilling just out of view range. Of them. I guess I will go pop up this way. All right. So there's the comet. Where is their pair of 12 T's? And why should I... You know, I just noticed how far back my support is. <laughs> Oof. I got backup. Way back up there. Alright. 
They, they do seem to be a clustering. So do we. Alright, there's their AMD. I'd take a shot at them, but I know those 12 T's are going to see me. And between the two of them, they can eat my lunch. Alright, where is the next best cover? Because I would desperately prefer to have a shrub handy. Or do you think they retreated past that ridge? Minimize our crossfire from the valley. Let's see if we. Oh! Never mind. Never mind. Nope. Nope, nope. Guys. Yep, nope. That's probably too little too late. Yep, too little too late. Uh, getting greedy. Getting greedy. That seems to be the root of a great many of my problems. Alright. I'm going to leave the camera on Fart Rock. And I'm going to step away real quick. I have a puppy to feed, so I will be right back in just a couple minutes. Alright, there we go. One absolutely adorable black lab has been fed. Uh, if you guys get a chance to take a look at the channel offline image, that would be the wonderful puppy that I just finished feeding. His name is Jabba. He is cute and wonderful and snores loudly under the bed. a little bit, or maybe not. No, they're going to cap us out. Six, five, four. That Hellcast is not going to get there in time. Yeah. Doggone it. Some days. Some days. just sad. <laughs> That's just sad. Of course, I keep forgetting I got this set up more for the active scouting, so I really should have been surfing that ridge line. Turn around the roundabouts. Alright. Where's the locust is looking to play tier 5? What do I have for a tier f Oh, yep, nope. There we go. Problem solved. 
because I have not yet had a chance to try any of the wheeled scouts on the French line. Um, I really need to go back to playing some more of my ELC. That's another tank that I enjoyed playing quite a bit. And then as I moved up in the tiers, I just haven't played it as much. Not because I didn't like it, but... Uh, <laughs> But because, yeah. Alright. Two war. Oh, come on, guys. Eight years later? There we go. All right. Ooh, there's three of us. I wonder if the other two are doing the same thing, trying to uh, trying to go work on work towards their wheeled scouts. You know, it worked well enough last time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a sprint for the hill again. This tank does sprint a little bit better than the 12T. Back before the gravity thing, this, this was... Uh... Sorry guys. This is a little too nimble for me. <laughs> Charge of the Light Brigade. Up the hill we go. Yep. Let's try doing this a little more sensibly. Alright. Ooh. This is not going to end well. Oh yeah. This is not going to end well at all. He can easily eat a hit from me. And he's got friends, and I don't. And holy mother of lemming train, Batman. Did their whole team pour up on the hill? Wow. Hey, Fart Rock, if you can hear me, you might want to <laughs> go ahead and just try pushing up that flank. I dare say it's going to be either lightly defended or empty. Great googly moogly. Even the heavies went up there. They all poured up there. That... That was... That was unexpected. Okay. <laughs> I... I... Wow. I did not see that one coming. I did not see that one coming at all. I figured maybe a couple more scouts would get there. Oh, that tea is cold. Uh, nothing sadder than cold tea. Okay, the only thing sadder than cold tea would be cold coffee, but... Unless it's cold and brewed. Now nah, I'm just getting ridiculous. I feel like I need to work on my announcer voice too. And in this crop. Ooh. With the HE. Probably gonna want to push up that flank. I bet there's nobody there. On the other hand, as long as they provide you with a nice shooting gallery, I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah, I'm willing to bet good silver there is nobody down that flank. That is probably all of them. Okay. 
Probably nobody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. Yeah. Although that, oh no, that STRV is close enough. Close enough for it to matter. Smart. I hate it when the enemy plays smart. I think. Nope. Yeah. Huh. Alrighty then. I guess we'll head back to the garage on that note. That's the last time I run up there like a fool. I should have told Fart Rock to head back to the garage before I left. Alright, while we're waiting, let me see. Discord still swears it is connecting. Hmm. Weird. Oh, fart rock. He probably won't get that. I don't I don't think that chat actually hits on um, on the in-game side. It would be kinda nice if it did though. Cause I mean they're in your platoon anyway. Alright. While we're waiting. Eventually, I'm going to do another Swedish grind. Because I made my way up to tier 6. And I really would like to get my way up to about 7 or 8. I'm not sure I'm going to carry the line all the way through. Um, but I really would like to play the uh, IKV and the Udezo 3. Because now we're starting to get into the fun mechanics that uh, happen over there. I've also heard that the Leo is... Uh, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people say the Leo is fun to play. Some people say if you didn't like the STRV-74, you're not going to like the Leo. Since I have not been overly fond of the Leo, of the STRV-74. Oh, okay, that's probably not the best way to put it. Um, I don't hate it. I, I like the gun depression, I like the mobility, I like the support role that it can play. It's just really soft. And a little pokey for a medium. Oh, there we go. Fart Rock is back. And Hordes of Look is going to grab a tier 6. Alright, um, 
do I play the 12 T again? Or do I grab something a little different? I am going to grab the 12 T again because I'm never going to get past it if I don't grind a little bit more. And I say grind. It, it, it's been a really nice one. <laughs> How dare you hide in the garage? Oh, never mind. We're in match already. Lovely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to try to finish that, that message and, you know, trying to keep the stream going, trying to keep it live, trying to keep it interesting, something moving. How do I want to play this? I think I'm going to head to the south and try to... Yeah. I'll try to rush down into the valley and do a little spotting, probably around G6. Somewhere in that ballpark. Waiting is the hardest part. I do have this guy set up for passive scouting, which would make it a little bit easier to play up on the ridge where it looks like that leopard's getting ready to go. But, uh, nah, let's run. He's almost certainly spotted me, too. And there are three artillery, so... Hello, Mr. Rock. You are my new best friend. Key, but I got the desk arranged a little weirdly. I, I'm gonna have to work on that. Either that or I'm gonna have to rebind the uh, the key to something on my mouse. I keep saying I'm gonna do that, but I never quite get around to that the part of actually, you know, doing it. Hmm. That actually got him. Huh. I was not expecting that. Alright, let's see if I can live a little more dangerously. There's a few more people spotted, and some more hardcover found. Oop, never mind. I got a 25 TP who's probably going to come around my way. So I am not going to push all that aggressively up. I'm instead going to try to keep keep them lit. Alright. Here you go, guys. They be spotted. My saving luck is that artillery has not decided to find me yet. Stay there. I got friends on the ridge who want to say something to you. Like that. Alright, Mr. T1, can I get you spotted again? Oh, and your little friend too. <laughs> I am a little worried about that 25 TP though. If I can use these shrubs and valley. Well, I don't know if he spotted me. But he has to know he has been spotted. 
Oh, nope. <laughs> yep, yep. I got seen. The Monty Python skit, how not to be seen. I failed. Just notice the northwest. That is not looking good, y'all. Right, before I poke up with that SU 100Y, let me get a full clip ready. Oh, oh, you looking for me? And I hit you from over the ridge? Nope, Wargaming's not going to be that nice to me. You, though. Don't tell her I asked. <laughs> Just spotted. Oh, why am I trying to shoot like that? I thought I was going to manage a little more damage on that one. Getting greedy. That seems to be the theme for the evening. Huh. I think I found why I'm still in the 47%. I get a little too greedy. <laughs> oh, my. Right, we can still pull this one out, though. I don't know what that SU 100 Y is doing, but he's not. He would not be my first concern. I don't think that guy actually left cap. Is that an AFK SU 100 Y? I think he is. I'd be a little more worried about the Lorraine boys. Jet back to the garage. But, oh no. Oh, he is awake. There he is. Huh. I'm curious to see if these two can actually uh, pull this one out. Because that leopard seems to be eating him alive. I, I dare say he is our MVP for this match. But, uh. These guys have the firepower to take. Well, the Tiger one's kind of soft. Who else is around? The VK thirty oh one. I don't know. What do you guys say? Should we hop into the next match or see how this one finishes out? Bet. Yeah, I, I bet. I bet those guys are headed for cap because they're going to want to try to pull our people out while they got a two to one advantage and are more heavily armored. So it's probably a good idea that our leopard gets into a fire. Ooh. Okay. Yep. There's the cap. Was it somebody in camp that spotted him? Probably. There's only one guy in camp, though. Uh, okay, that's the tiger. Yeah, I 
don't think this one's going to end badly, folks. I don't know if B-Man can pull this one out. I'm not entirely sure that the Leopard has the firepower to make that happen. Especially at the dis... Oh, maybe. Huh. Oh, no, no. No, no. <laughs> that's, where, that's where superior numbers come in handy. Especially if you work in a coordinated fashion. Oh, well. Onward and forward. How bad did we do in this defeat? Oh. Okay. Not bad at all. Second in XP. I'll take it. Although. Let me send a quick message. Because he did do a good job. I mean, look at the man. He did all that damage. Knocked out five kills. And uh, it just wasn't enough. Oh, all right, we're going tier six again. So let's grab this guy again. And away we go. Onward and forward. Or at least forward. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't seen this map in a while. I much prefer to be assaulting than defending. At least when I'm playing a scout. Because you can get cornered really easy on the defense if you're not careful. Uh, where's our other two scouts? One of them is next to me. The other is probably in that cluster over there. So, I'm going to try to conservatively scout over J67, that area there. And, uh, let's see how that goes. Please wait. What you got? There are two artillery, so I do need to watch the terrain. My luck trying to do anything with only one shell in the clip is going to end badly. And let's see if I can do another scouting pass. I don't want to poke too far over there, though. I'm work my way back a little bit. spotted me either way whether he has or hasn't I need to beat feet and be somewhere else uh, did you lose track of me oh it's a little too late I'm gonna need a full 
the magazine as soon as I get a chance. Let's do a reload. I don't like that I don't have a whole lot in terms of support. That SU is going to be nice, but uh... We have a decent assault going. We've taken out one of their artillery, which is always nice. Where is Mr. Jackson? And how worried should I be? Let's tuck into this corner here. Go, go, gadget binoculars? No, not yet. Let me get over the hill. Oh, there's the Jackson. Can I get double bushed? You know what? Whether I'm double bushed or not, I'll take that shot. Fall back a little bit because he was looking for me. Be somewhere else. Let's take the opportunity to do a full reload. I'm getting the hang of this thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh. He anticipated me. bad trade. That was a bad trade. I should have just ducked. I should have just ducked. I think he's got the better view range. Or he's got somebody... Oh. Alright. Which artillery is that? Well, all right, so I got a fair amount of time before that becomes a problem. Um, well, shoot. We seem to not be... Uh, we seem to be dying a little bit more than there. That's usually not how you win. I'd be worried about that T-71 coming down. And any time you lose sight of a Jagdpanzer, it's not good. Alright, uh, can I cut through here? Yes. Let's see what we can see. Oh, no. I hit that bump off. Ah. Nope. Nope. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision on the Leo. <laughs> Never a good idea. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Oh my indeed. Alright. Park Rock, leveling it up. Eventually, I would really like Discord to cooperate. I mean, what's the point in having a group chat with your platoon mates if uh, <laughs> they can't hear you and you can't hear them? Yes, we did have that weird power outage too, so I may I may have to reboot a few things here. Eleven, eleven. 
Alright. Oof. That's not good. That's not good at all. No. I don't think this is going well, guys. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to quietly go back to the garage. Because uh, I can't bear to watch how that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think they're about to get mopped up. They're, they're about to get mopped up good. This is what I wish we saw more of. Um, more pleasant chat. If I had... 100 gold in-game for every time somebody fussed at me, sent me nasty messages, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't need to spend money on premium time. Uh, I would need to spend money to convert XP. I'd have everything I needed. Especially when I play artillery. I think uh, next time I'll have to pull over into the stream, and load up into uh, restream <laughs> the uh, the thing I saw on one of the discussion forums. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, I was looking to see what news what news was available, and uh, somebody. <laughs> Somebody was complaining about the lack of uh, artillery missions for the Know Your Tank. You know, we got codes for everything but artillery. And so somebody put together um, a set of artillery missions for the Know Your Tank for May that is definitely worthy of the Onion or Babylon B. Pick your, uh, pick your hardcore satire. But uh, yeah, it was good. I posted it in the Discord chat and now I'm kind of wondering if there's an easy way to get it up on the screen. All right, I'm hearing bumps and starts and stops in Discord. And it still says I'm connecting. Lovely. All right. We lost that one. Hmm. All right. Eh. Middle third. Platoon Soviet style, you say, huh? Tier six. All right. You know what? Let's go filter this down. Tier 6. Soviet style. And what tier 6 Soviet do I want to play? Could grab my KV-2 with hordes of locusts. Yeah. Or the T-3485. I haven't played that one that much. You know what? Let's do that. Let's play the T-3485. I don't think that's 100% crew yet. But they're working on it. All right. There we go. Soviet style. All right. Um, yep. All right. I'll restart Discord one more time as soon as I get an opportunity. I closed it out again. There's a tog. Oh, look at the tog. Where's my artillery when I want one? <laughs> Time to roll out. All right. Uh, 
I always seem to go playing down this side, and it does not seem to work out. I probably ought to consider moving over to the other side, but um, I don't know if they retrain it. <laughs> Tog Smash. The Tog is a fun tank. It, it's gloriously weird and something. I, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. And I should probably be focusing on the play instead of trying to figure out how to describe the TOG. Are you... Yes. I hope that did something. We'll find out after the battle. No, guess not. Oh, probably hit that wall. Alright. Oh. Oh, sneaky. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? This is not looking like a good place to be, so let's try to proactively move. Oh. That's what I get. Pesky little scout taken care of. And I should have seen the artillery counter coming. Is that... That was not smart. Hmm. Hiding out here didn't work out well for him. Maybe not. Well, there are two artillery. I didn't see who killed them, too. Alright. What I could really use is some gun depression. And to fix my driver. Oh! I let the TOG hit me. That's embarrassing. time I turn to address one flank, the other one gets a little worse. Alright. Suck it up. We get, get destroyed by a tog. That, that's just... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go too well. That did not go too well at all. Maybe I should stick to the scouts. I seem to be doing better with them. Yeah, yeah, it went well for the TOG, indeed. <laughs> I'm sure he's having a blast. <laughs> finish him! Finish him! Avenge me, Fart Rock! Hmm. Their artillery is on the ball today, too. Uh... Shame on me for not getting better cover and not staying in a better position. I started falling back and I should have gone with my original plan of falling a little bit further back. Especially given the way they, they were pushing. Alright, Fart Rock, you can take them all out, right? You got this? Get them out this up? Make this worthy of a Jingles replay? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know where I'm going to sit in that. It'll be on an episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. <laughs> oh my. So.
so. How bad did that one go? Eh. Still in the middle third. I didn't lose money. That's always good. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, and yeah, and he's right. It's still a good game. Sometimes you have fun, and that's about all you manage, and that's okay. <laughs> all right. Since hordes of locusts said he's setting, stepping away for a moment. Let me get rid of the Soviet filter, and let's go back to. Nine kills and a KV-2. That is awesome. That is awesome. I've... I think the best I've managed is uh, six or seven, and it was not in a KV-2. It's in one of my TDs. All right, let's try... What do I want to play? Something different. Let's do something that earns some credits, and is usually a joy to play. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Alright, and since Hordes of Locust said he is stepping away for a minute, we'll go ahead and go without him. Ah, bringing out the STA-1. Nice. Ooh. Alright, this is a good map to play this tank in. The question is, where do I want to go? Do I want to do like I've been doing and head down that uh, lake road? Probably not. This is a little too pokey for that. I think if we don't have enough in the valley, I will support the valley. But otherwise, I will trundle off to the city. So let me see where everybody else goes first. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let me guess, half the team is waiting to see where everybody else goes because <laughs> nobody wants the lemming train. And nobody wants to overcrowd the valley. Alright, we got a 112, and we got some decent support, so I'll go ahead and help the 112. Got a nice TD back there providing overwatch. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we got at least one artillery looking to the valley. Always nice. Yeah. I I tend to take this tank into turret down positions like that ridge up there. But you are right, it does do very nicely in the cities. Uh, th this is, if it wasn't for the speed, this would definitely be one of my uh, more favorite mediums. Thank you for the follow. Oh, uh, a I apologize for mispronouncing. Um, I do appreciate the follow, though. Ooh, it looks like we definitely need the help here, too. Hardy's got a line on that 112. And you know what? I'm probably going to get just to this dip here and no further. Because that should keep... This is usually a hard spot for artillery to hit. Or at least for their artillery to hit. Yeah. Eat it, Mr. Scorpion. Alright, watch out for that repositioning Yag Tiger. I hope that hit him. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Should have expected that one. 
Another case of the short-term memory getting to me. I forget where the uh, weak spot on the Jagdtiger 88 is. The Scorpion seems to have repositioned nicely. That one didn't go through. Ooh, and he's got no radium. Do I want to waste? Yeah. Alright. Let me let the T-29 come up a little bit closer. The FE-201 and I can bounce off of each other's turret. Fall back a little bit more, because that is not looking like a healthy place to stand. Well, maybe we can reposition. Oh, oh, oh! Missed on the snapshot. But now I know where the Scorpion moved to. Usually that's a harder spot for artillery to hit, especially a Lorraine. But, uh, let me... Yeah, no. Let me fall back. Falling back. No, no, no. Repair kit's still on cooldown. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Fix it. Fix it. Oh. Are you kidding me? I much prefer being on the other side of this. <laughs> yep. Nope. Back and up. Out of the artillery fire. Because that. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I'm going to hang back and let the guys behind there get that ridge a little bit better. Because you're right, holding this line is definitely going to help us a little bit more than trying to be aggressive. That Tiger P is not in a... no. Yep, yep. Go get him. that the wrecks help uh, limit his ability to poke through there, too. Just keep him spotted. Keep him spotted. Oh. Oh. Alright. Fall back. Fall back. Spotted. Come on, artillery. Oh no. We got a pair of mediums coming down that valley now, too. Ah! That one didn't go through. That one didn't go through. Yeah, I try not to spam the gold. Uh, I keep a couple of a couple of rounds of my premiums for just in case. But um, really, it's learn the. Hang on. Oh, oh, just a little off. Yeah, it's kind of hard to complain about World of Tanks becoming pay to win and then emptying your wallet into gold. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to stand on a principal position. <laughs> oh, this is, uh... Mm. Last stand. Alright, Fart Rock. When you get killed by the valley, you're killed by the lake. <laughs> Thank you, Yurha. I tried to hold that line. I got a little, little too... I should have fallen back a little bit sooner. Uh, that probably would have helped preserve my hit points for the later portion. And I probably should have switched to some HE a little bit sooner. So that uh, I could at least do some damage or break some modules. Because uh, when you can't remember, 
when you can't remember where the weak spots are, the next best thing is HE, because you can at least, you know, kill crew and break things. <laughs> oh my. And it looks like Hordes of Locusts is ready to join us again. Yeah, HE is excellent for tracking and breaking guns, which will also help preserve your hit points. <laughs> Alright, still still in the middle third of XP. That's that's okay. I, I'd like to be a little bit higher on the XP side. You know, I definitely got my shots in, got my hits in, but not the pen. Ah, well. Alright, Hordes of Locusts would like to play... Another tier 8. Alright, uh, do I want to play this guy again, or do I want to switch it up? Uh, you know what? Where's my STA-1? Because this guy, I still got to do some grinding on. If I remember right, yeah, he's uh, stock all the way. <laughs> It's still a good tank. I like it. It is very maneuverable. It is, uh, it is a fun tank to play. Yeah. Uh, yo, lower plate for the 8-8? I will definitely have to remember that for the next go-around. Uh, does it look like we got a... No, not a chance to do it this time. But, uh, I will definitely remember that for the next time. <laughs> Stock T25 AT. Yeah, that's not too bad either. Yeah, it, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've not been playing premium myself. Um, I picked up a little gold from some code they had posted somewhere, and uh, that was about it. I used to do the premium days, like uh, Hordes of Locust and Fart Rock would actually come over the house before I moved. And we would play as a platoon together in the same room. And you didn't have to worry about Discord not working. <laughs> and uh, that is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> and, uh... But as... As the game seemed to have changed, I've been less and less willing to... Pump money into it. Nope, 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 nope. And you know what? Artillery's probably gonna be looking there, so let's. Oh! Oh no! The tiger won. Since we seem to have the field well covered, let's loop back around. And uh, go support those poor souls that way, because that. They look like they need the help. Looks like we could really use our T71 CMD too. Yeah, frontline is pretty good. I, I keep intending to play more, but uh, I forget that it's only like once a week now, or one week out of the month now. a little bit and see if we can't get eyes around the corner for our heavies there. Still pretty artillery safe. I gotta worry about that alley there. Alright. Narvin seems to be focused on that side. I wonder if I can peek in and get a couple of side shots before things go too sideways. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, nope, nope. KV-3 saw me. Time to do my best, Sir Robin, and bravely run away. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I guess you guys got you guys got that corner, right? That's why you're there, right? Oh. Oh. 
I don't play that often, and he plays a little less than I do. Yeah, you know what? Side scraping is not going to work on that. I'm just not going to be able to get the right angle. I'm going to turn to face that Tiger P. Because I think he's going to come around that corner before those guys do. Oh, or not. Okay. Shoot. That's what I get for assuming. A little more partial cover. <laughs> yeah, everybody keeps clicking on those heavies like I don't know they're there. Well, that didn't sound good. Ooh. I don't think I'm getting much spotting. If you look, it's only 261 uh, spotting, so I don't... I know that spotting is usually very beneficial, but I don't think I am helping in that regard. But, uh, ooh. Who saw me now? I guess, uh, I guess that is going to be it. Hanging out here in the corner, wishing I had a good firing solution. Or it gets to the point that, uh, I could probably poke out and finish him off. There you go, Mr. IS-2. Scorpion G should be able to handle that ISU. Huh. I wonder. Is KV3 focused enough on those guys that I could probably pop a shot in his back? Oh. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. And I'll take the win. Yeah, I forgot that I still had HE selected from when that Carnarvon was around that corner. Short-term memory something or other. <laughs> and thank you for the follow, horseplays. We, uh, we try to do this every Friday starting at 7 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. That is minus 4 UTC. At least until the rest of the world changes to uh, daylight time. Eh, that's not where I wanted to be. Somebody definitely broke my wallet module. <laughs> nah, that's, that's not that's not too bad a loss. I'll live with it, especially since the uh, super Persian definitely made up a little more than that. All right, since Hordes of Locust has the most limited tank selection. Let's uh, see what he decides to play. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to try that one again. All right. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. T32. All right. You know what? I haven't played any heavies tonight. Well, 
I've got my T32. I haven't played it that much. What I'd really like to do is I need to upgrade this ISM and get the crew trained up. <laughs> These poor slackers, 89%. Come on, man. All right. Matter of fact, that reminds me. I think my personal reserve ran out a while ago. Let's, uh, yeah, let's bump that. Let's bump that. That probably would have helped <laughs> stem some of the losses. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, it was a little while after the after the ISM and that whole Soviet heavy line was released that I finally started picking that up and playing. Um, I haven't played it enough to, to really get the handle on it. And that is not... I don't think it's fully upgraded. I meant to check that before I jumped in. But, um... Alright. I guess I'm headed off to the mountain pass down the 1-2 line. Unless it looks like nobody's going to the river. I usually try to make sure at least one... One or two heavies heads down the river road on the 8-9 line. Yeah, I've been working out the IS-3 line as well. Um, and I do, I do like it. My problem with the Soviet heavies overall is the, the lack of gun depression. That really, <laughs> that really gets to me. It's like they thought they'd never have to point down at something. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I do have that line going as well. I'll pull up my tech tree research. Yeah, that that is the nice thing about the IS line. It does have much better armor, especially the frontal armor, the way it's angled. Um, so I will give you that one. Haven't played in years? It's, uh, it's definitely changed a lot over the last few years. And it is only recently that I would dare say that some of the changes have started getting for the better. Um, I, particularly Matchmaker's gotten a, little, a lot better. It got worse, but it's been getting better. And uh, yeah, I haven't gotten up to the IS-7 yet. I think I'm uh, a step or two before that. I, I do have the IS. It is the uh, the one after that. I've kind of stuck. Oh, oh, oh my. Alright, not as much support as I was originally expecting, so I'm not going to go too much further than this point here. So. I head up that way. But I know the second I head up that way, that's when somebody's going to come down this backside here. Where's the wreck? That wreck seems a little bit more sturdy. Or is it at least going to give me a better firing solution. Maybe they didn't send that many. Alright, our TS-5 is going to check. Yeah. Yeah. This tank would have been perfect for that last match. <laughs> That's where, you know, the frontline respawn mechanic really shines in, in uh, front lines. Oh. Nope. Yeah. Hello. That is the second big honking bit of HE that I've... Uh, not been hit by a man of B-42. Remember, no gun depression. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Okay. Oh, that one bounced. His commander thought that was funny. Oh yeah, no, 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 I'm not bouncing this guy. I don't want to display the low tank. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, nope. Artie's got shots on there. This is not a good place to be. Fall back. Fall back. Damage upon spotting. Damage upon spotting my heavy tanks. 
Although, I will say I've earned a few spotter badges in a couple of my heavy tanks, and that's, uh... That is always a source of irony. Yeah. yeah. The home cheeks are the way to go. No, 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 no. He's looking for me. He's looking for me. Alright, let's get this guy. Not sure that I'm ready to take another hit from that Oho. Just kind of hoping somebody else can bait the shot, but all right, fine. Oof! You didn't even scratch him. Yes, yeah, so many broken modules. Uh, that IS-6 is about to come in line from behind, isn't it? Oh no, our AT-15's got him penned in a little bit. Always helpful. <laughs> Critical hit for 11. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Artie's looking for me. Oh, who's coming for me? Yep, no. This is about to go badly. Yep, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Down in the valley. One of our tracks is damaged. One of our gas tanks ruptured. We're low on fuel. Oh, yeah. Rip. Pretty sure that ISM is still fairly stock, and I know it's not 100% crew. Uh, the commander's uh, like 89%, and somebody else is, and some of the other crew are a little bit higher, only by virtue of the commander giving him a bump. Oh, good night. Thank you for watching. I'm probably gonna play at least another half hour ish. Probably not too much later, because uh, I started my work day at four this morning, and. <laughs> It's, uh, it's edging on late o'clock. <laughs> but, uh, I do upload my replays to YouTube, so if you want to come watch the stream later, that is available there. And, uh, I do other streams throughout the week on Minecraft on Tuesdays as a part of the CoffeeCraft server. And I also do Games Revisited, where I'm currently going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Which was a fun, fun game from back in the day. And thank you. Horse plays. Horse plays. I do intend to keep shooting for at least a little bit longer. Apparently, it looks like Hordes of Locusts is outlasting us all. <laughs> the T 32 is not a bad heavy tank either. I love the turret armor. I absolutely love the turret armor and the maneuverability. What I hate is that it is the same gun you had on the tank before it, which was already weak. Horseplay Arizona. Oh, okay. Which part of Arizona, if you don't mind my asking? Because I was out that way uh, around this time last year. And uh, I had a chance to go to the Musical Instrument Museum over by Phoenix. Cool. And uh, yeah, it was a really fun trip. My uh, youngest brother graduated high school. And uh, my dad, my brother, and I went out to Arizona. We saw a tombstone. We went to the Musical Instrument Museum and did some of the other touristy stuff. It was a blast. It was hot. <laughs> Everybody kept saying, yeah, but it's a dry heat. Uh, yeah, but it's hot. <laughs> of course, I'm originally from Massachusetts, so, you know, my definition of cold and hot 
is a little skewed by that northern climb. <laughs> hey, looks like we turned this one around. Nice. It'll all be over in about 17 seconds, no matter what. <laughs> and there we go. Victory. All right, let's go see how far I researched this ISM. Because uh, I thought it shared a little bit with some of the other Soviet tanks that I've researched already. But uh, I, I, there's a part of me that's thinking, no, that it, it was another one of those tanks where they added a line that, no, of course you couldn't use research you've already done. Why would you do something like that? Have fun. Good night. Hopefully I'll see you again next week. We do this every Friday starting at uh, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern, minus 4 UTC. Oof. Yeah. All right, so the crew's not going to Arby's. Uh, <laughs> at least got some decent XP on that one. Yeah, that... Mm, 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 mm. That did not go well. All right, let me get back into the research real quick. Yeah, because I'm still with that starter 122. And that would have definitely helped having the increased penetration. I'll have to grind it a little more another day. It looks like we're dropping back a tier. And, uh... Must have played the KV-3. I could grab my KV-3 and play with him. However, uh... I've been doing better with mediums today, so let me grab my KV-13 which is an absolutely fun Soviet medium. <laughs> oh, oh, dropping stuff. Need a bigger desk. Joppa thinks I need a bigger desk too. At my old house, I had a really large corner desk and he would love to go hide under that desk and lay on top of my feet and snore loudly while I tried to play games. <laughs> Sometimes he'd nudge you when, you know, he wanted something. <laughs> All right. Hey, this looks vaguely familiar. I never noticed that they rotated the map depending on which mode. This is the first time I actually noticed that. Alright, uh, hmm. I'm gonna head down the 1 2 line. Let's see what I can do that away. Although, given the way the other medium tanks are going, maybe maybe I got that one wrong. Now the TDs are probably going to camp right up on that ridge there. Or in that back corner there. I probably should have followed the T-44 if I'm being honest. Hindsight being 2020 and all that. Oop, there we go. Join up with these mediums and see what we can do. I see a signaling for help. Why do you think I'm here? There is no artillery, which is nice on this map. These are the kinds of maps that I love playing artillery in. Nice clear lines of fire to most of the map. And we got Fart Rock and the Challenger backing us up. And... Alright, he be spotted. The question is... Is the T-20 alone or does... No, he's got friends. And what are the odds I can get to that next rock? I think that's our fire hitting the rock. 
where the T20 is. Problem is, I can't get my gun down to do anything about it. Huh. Alright. I'll rack up the spotting damage, though. Spotting helps, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they saw me. Okay. Get rid of that T20. I feel a lot better, but you know what? I got the armor. Let's push this. Let's try this. Oh, oh, oh. He's got more friends than I thought. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course. There we go. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Duck behind the rock. Live upon the rock. Alright. So, despite that only being semi-smart, I managed to live another day. I don't know if that's a case of if it's dumb and it works. It's not dumb. Alright. Is that P-43 going to push forward? I don't know. Falling off the radar. Let's see if I can poke this way a little bit more. Get those TDs lit up. Without being part of the firing solution for that VK and his buddies over there. Uh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Duck, duck. Ooh. Come on, guys. That SU-152 is a nice ripe target. He's a razor nick away from dying. There he is. I keep looking around for artillery fire. I just got done saying that there is no artillery. That's usually a sign that it's getting late. <laughs> I might not go all the way to uh, 10 p.m. <laughs> all right. There's one. I don't think I have the damage to go strafe that 152, especially since he's got buddies over there. But I can probably push up to this next little ridge line and keep him lit up a little bit better. If I were him, I would be backing up and coming around that way. Alright, I got that half right. He is backing up. He is facing the other way. What are the uh, no 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 he's turning he's turning he probably saw me Oot. 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 And that VK looks like he's trying to get a firing solution on me fall off the radar kinda wish somebody would light him up again if I could reach him from over here that would that would be nice. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, oh, oh. He's got a friend over there. And there's a Ferdinand providing overwatch over there. Oh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. That was a bad idea. Shouldn't have pushed like that. <laughs> Go around the other way, but that's going to give the Scorpion G a better shot at me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was... That was not how I expected that to go. I, I was I was not expecting that to be a trade. I was expecting to finish him off with the ram and then proceed to the Scorpion G. 
best laid plans of mice and men, huh? <laughs> oh my. Alright, we still seem to be doing pretty well. We managed to push down that line fairly nicely. It's a shame we don't have vision into that Scorpion G, but that is my own fault. Yeah, I finished him off with the ram. The problem is the ram also finished me off. And uh, I was I was not expecting it to go that way. I thought I had enough health that I could survive that maneuver. But um, that was... That was another moment like uh, when I first started playing. And I didn't realize how much of a difference armor made in the ram. And... Uh, I had, uh, I had tried ramming artillery in one of my scouts, and <laughs> that went about as well as you could expect. I learned from that one. I just thought that the uh, KV-13 was well armored enough that it could survive that. I thought wrong. <laughs> yes, the KV-5 is another good one for ramming. A lot of the Soviets are. Yeah. Yeah, small liner, controlled impact. Oh, it's very definitely a viable thing to do. And uh, if we're going to talk about funny ramming stories, Arcadius was working on this mission to ra successfully ram a tank with his heavy. So I platooned up with him, and we're playing heavy, a heavy platoon. And I rammed like three or four different tanks in my low. <laughs> in my louvre rammed about three or four different tanks meanwhile he keeps chase trying to chase them down <laughs> and uh oh that was before we started streaming it was it was gloriously hilariously fun <laughs> really i thought you'd finish that one you still haven't finished that mission all right, we'll have to get another heavy platoon going. Maybe next Friday. See if we can't finish that. Give you something more maneuverable like a T-32. <laughs> that, that actually happened in my artillery. I was in my M44, top down. I'm looking, trying to do cou counter battery. And I noticed my reticle just like bumped a little bit. And some guy in a scout two tiers below had tried to ram me and uh, <laughs> and absolutely obliterated himself. A and all it did was nudge the tank. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even see him coming. I, I was so focused on the top down. Yeah, eye for an eye. My lone win, or my lone kill. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, that makes up for some of the earlier matches. That's not too bad. All right. I've got one more match in me. And then I'm going to call it a night. Um, so one more match. Same tier. Let me switch back over to the lights because I've been having some fun with them. And do I want to do the LTG again or... You know what? I haven't taken this guy out in a while. Let's play her T-71. It's a fun scout. There's a reason I kept that guy around. It is absolutely fun. Although I did, when they split the line into the two different T-71s, I ended up selling the autoloader and buying the single shot. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have kept the autoloader because I, I do need to learn how to play them and uh, learn how to work those autoloaders a little bit better. So maybe later on down the line I'll buy it again and staff it up with a decent crew. But not anytime soon. I've got uh, I've got a lot of other tanks to research. 
Alright, I think I'm going to do pretty much like I did the last time and try to keep an eye over on the, the southeast corner there. That worked out mostly well. <laughs> of course, mostly well is not exactly this, the strategy you want to hear from your scout. I'm going to do this thing. It worked out mostly well the last time. The enemy was only mostly dead. <laughs> he's not dead, he's only mostly dead. Oh, that was such a classic movie. I may have to go put that in at some point this weekend. And watch The Princess Bride again. It's been too long. Oop, 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 oop. Bad idea, bad idea. Yep, nope, nope, oh. Stupid mistakes. I, yeah, no, I pushed too far forward too fast. Too far forward too fast. That, this, that definitely means that this will be my last match. I'll watch Hordes of Locust and, uh, Hordes of Locust and Fart Rock play this one out. Because uh, when you start doing really stupid stuff like that, that's when you know it's time that it's it's time to call it a night. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's that's usually when I know I've hit my limit. Is uh, you find yourself on the wrong side of ridge, going, "What am I doing over here?" <laughs> oh. But, uh, yeah. We'll at least stick, stay on as long as Fart Rock and Hordes of Locust are on. And then when they die or the match ends, I'm going to pull up Twitch and see if somebody else is playing World of Tanks. Start a raid over that way. Uh, I've actually never done that before. I've only had the Twitch channel up about a couple of months now. And uh, this is the first time I've been on the receiving end of a raid, which has been awesome. And thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, this has been this has been fun. I'm trying to build something new. Uh, if you're interested in a wider variety of what I'm doing, I've got my main website at anonjunior.com. Don't mind the dust; it's been a little while since I've posted. Uh, that should change this weekend, particularly while I got the car in the shop. Uh, at Anon Jr. on Twitter, and I stream live at least three days a week. Tuesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Because with the games revisited, I definitely want to keep a good solid three hours. And I still have work on Friday, so it's not like I can stay up that late. Because uh, I gotta be up at four in the morning. <laughs> Unless I want the commute to take an hour and a half. Because, uh, city traffic, man. It is something special. Oh, oh. Our heavy's about to get his, uh, flank eaten up, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, buddy, I made the same mistake. <laughs> is there any other way to die? Alright, Fart Rock is doing his Sir Robin impression. Probably was. He's not running away, he's affecting a strategic retreat. <laughs> That's the way that works, right? <laughs> yeah. In your recliner or in your sleep? Because, uh,. Yeah, if uh, if I get a choice, I would much prefer that. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, their T seventy one is about to kill our arty. That is going. Speaking of dying horribly, our artillery is about to die horribly. <laughs> ooh. And there he goes. Uh, hmm. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes, I do try to keep this family friendly, and I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> Shot dropped. You got this. Oh. I really wouldn't mind if they'd update the statistics of the firing circle, too. That is definitely something that could stand a little bit of an overhaul. I don't, I don't need it laser precise like it was in the early days, but um, I think to address some of the complaints, they went a little too far in the other direction. And uh, and somewhere in the middle is the uh, the proper mix. Um, it appears Fart Rock is in it. Well, on that horrible end, go back to the garage. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me type in chat that it is the last one, that that was the last one for me. And, uh,. Last one for me. Yeah, it was still fun. I mean, some of those, some of those were horrible, but it was still fun. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. A scene switcher is. Are you gonna switch? Oh come on. Alright, there we go. So while I've got the thank you screen up, I'm still working on building up the channel. I'll eventually have a Streamlabs donation thing. That's what that up there is going to be about. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I do this every Friday at 7 p.m., the 47%. And I also do Minecraft on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. as part of the Coffee Craft server. If that is your bag, head to coffeecraft.us to find out a little bit more about the server. And on Tuesdays, I do Games Revisited, where I go take a look through some old classic games and uh, have all sorts of fun with that. And let's see, who is on playing World of Tanks right now? Yes, I will pet Jebba for you. <laughs> He, uh, he misses all the extra company that we used to have. All right. Uh, let's do a quick search. All of tanks. Let's see who's on. Where's somebody else that uh, looks like they could use a little love? Hmm. There's, there's actually a nice... Alright. So. Copy link. Alright. That's how that works. Then I go paste. There we go. I picked a random channel that looks like it could use the help. I thank you again. I bid you adieu. And now we're going to start a raid. My first raid since joining Twitch. Have fun.